Good morning. That was my better half. Uh, I'm Tony Kelly, it's Dorothy Harrison from Dublin in Ireland. And uh, as Dorothy says, when we found La Belle, fell in love with it. And the next thing we fell in love with was Barbara. Um, incredibly special woman, really, really so special. Um, Barbara had a lot of really tremendous attributes. But in particular, for us, because we are, what is it you guys say, in country or whatever, I don't know what that expression really means, but Barbara had that immediate gift of inclusion. And that's an exceptional, an exceptional thing, particularly when you're 5,000 miles away from home and circumstances change at home, and you need that type of friend. You need that person who can put everything aside and just listen to you. And we need more barbers. And it's, it's a great loss to lose her. But without losing her, we couldn't have had those experiences. We couldn't have had those times, the very times that will, and memories that will bring succor to us as we go forward in our years and realize that we no longer have her. Um, that's, that's an additional gift that Barbara believes that not everybody does leave. Um, and we are deeply grateful for that. We've had a tremendous time uh, at the villas, and much of it has been contributed to by Barbara. When we travelled home, because we might be at home for six months, We'd always write her, and I used to love to find postcards and things. Even if we weren't there, if I could find a card that was from there, I'd send it. And I know she, she loved it to drop in, and I loved to write them. Uh, and to our last visit with Barbara, I always tortured her at the command in whatever way I possibly could, because <laughs> we both enjoyed it so much. And we were sitting, Dorothy, on one side of the bed and I on the other side, holding her hands. And I leaned over and gently said, is this a good time to borrow money? <laughs> <laughs> and despite, despite her frailty, she did that. <laughs> I gave me the evil eye and said, mm, you're not getting any money. <laughs> That was our last time, we were grateful, deeply grateful for that visit. That was our last time to see Barbara. Um, before uh, deciding to play today, I, I was very anxious, um, mainly because my arthritis now is so bad that I kind of claw when I try to play. But I was sitting there the other night and I distinctly heard Barbara say, Don't worry about it. <laughs> and that is how we have known her. And that's the gift she leaves us. She leaves us that courage to continue into the unknown because she has given us that sense of memory, that sense of direction. This song, uh, I've only ever played twice, so please forgive the quality, but it's called You Have Lived. I sang it once for a great friend some years back. We done it far too young. And the only other time was for my own mother, Margaret, quite some years back in a small country church in, in outside of Dublin. So it was kind of, I hope it reflects the importance of Barbara to us, and if I don't make it through it, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs>